Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta, and today we will understand how to run log linear analysis in SPSS. Log linear analysis is a statistical technique used primarily in the analysis of categorical data, particularly when dealing with contingency table. It is an extension of the chi square test, allowing for the examination of the relationship among the three or more categorical variables. Applications of log linear analysis, sociology and demographics. Log linear analysis is commonly used to study relationship between social behavior and demographic factors. For example, researchers might examine how factors such as age, gender, education level and occupation interact to influence voting behavior, social mobility or employment status. Marketing research. In marketing, log linear analysis helps identify segments of customer based on categorical variables like purchase behavior, preferences and demographic characteristics. It can reveal how the segments differ in their interactions with products or services. Medical and health research. Researchers can use log linear models to analyze how different demographic variables such as age, gender, income and healthcare access variables such as insurance coverage and location interact to affect utilization of healthcare services. Education research. Log linear analysis can be applied to investigate how various factors such as socioeconomic status, school type and parental involvement interact to affect the student performance and educational outcomes. Criminal justice. It can also be used to examine how variables like the severity of the crime, prior criminal record, and demographic factors influence judicial decisions such as sentencing. Retail and consumer behavior. Retailers use log linear analysis to explore how different factors like store location, customer demographics, and purchase frequency interact to determine shopping patterns. So we'll take one case study. This case study aims to explore the relationship between three categorical variables, credit rating measured as one is good and zero is bad, so 1 is good and 0 is bad. Income level measured as 0 is low, 1 is high. Number of credit card measured as 0 is less than 5 credit card and 1 is more than 5 credit cards. The primary objective is to determine whether there are significant interactions between these variables that influence an individual's credit rating. So now we will go into the data set. You can see here the credit rating, income, low, high, credit cards, less than 5 or more than 5. To carry out log linear analysis, we will go and analyze log linear model selection. Click on it. Now transfer credit rating in factor, transfer income in factor, number of credit cards into factor. So credit rating, uh, two levels, good and bad. So minimum is zero, maximum is one. Income, low and high, define the range, zero and one. Continue. Credit cards, less than 5, more than 5, coded as 0 and 1, continue. In model, nothing to change, continue. In options, activate the parameter estimates and association table, continue, click OK. So we got the data information, design 1, cell counts and residuals. This is the first table to be interpreted. So I'll copy this on the slide and let's write the interpretation. In this table, you will have to see the expected count. Just check any of the cell is having the count less than 5. So here, neither of the cell has expected count less than 5. So the cell count assumptions are not violated. We can proceed further. Next is goodness of fit. So the output is generated here, goodness of fit. This also I have copied on the slide. Uh, we did not got any value of uh, SIG, no need to worry, let's write the interpretation. The likelihood ratio chi-square test assesses whether the observed data fit the expected frequency predicted by the model or not. A chi-square value of 0.00, .00 with 0 degree of freedom and no significance value reported denoted by the dot suggests that the model perfectly fits the data. This typically occurs when the model is saturated, meaning it includes all possible interactions, mean effects, two-way, three-way, leaving no degree of freedom for testing the 
fit. So it's not a matter of worry. Next is the K, K wave and the higher order effects. So first we'll understand what is a K wave effects. If you have three variables A, B and C, the one way, the main effect is A, B and C. Two way effect is A, B with A, C, uh, uh, sorry, A, A into B, A into C and B into C. Let, let me introduce the asterisks here which will make the things clear. So these are all interaction pairs. And what will be the three way interaction? A into B into C. So this is K wave effects, higher order effects. Two way and three way effects, this one, are considered higher order relative to the main effects. In the context of higher order effects, the, the term usually highlights that does not, in, that does interaction effects exist in absence of main effects. See, what we want to uh, analyze is in the absence of main effects, does the interaction effects exist? This is tested in higher order effects. Okay. So we start with the KV and the higher order effects. So this is one way, the main effect, two way, the two interaction terms, and three interaction terms. Similarly, KV effects, main effects, two interaction, three interaction. So what we will write in the interpretation, the KV and higher order effects. This section tests whether the interactions of KV and higher order effects are significant or not. We start with one way effect. See the p value. This for one way. As the p value is less than 0 0.05, which indicates that the one way effects are significant, meaning that the main effects of the variables cannot be ignored. Two way. As the p value is uh, less than 0 0.05, I'll just change it. Is less than 0 0.005 which indicates that the two-way interactions are also significant okay now see this the three-way as the p-value is 0 0.061 which is greater than 0 0.05 which indicates that the three-way interaction is not statistically significant because the p-value is more than 0 0.05. This suggests that including a three-way interaction may not substantially improve the model fit. Now the same interpretation will be for k-way effects, the uh, main effect, two-way interaction and the three-way interaction. Here also the p-value less than 0 0.05, less than 0 0.05. And here it is more than 0 0.05. So three-way effects are not significant. Next is partial associations. This is generated here, partial associations. So let's write the interpretation for it. Here, the association is, uh, we get the association between credit rating and income, credit rating and credit card, income and credit card. So the first is credit rating with income. See the p-value. As the p-value is less than 0 0.05, so we can say that there is a significant association between credit rating and income level even when the effect of number of credit card is controlled for so why we are saying this because it's a partial association so credit rating and income the association is there and uh, we, we have controlled the effect of number of credit cards now credit rating with credit card as the p-value is less than 0 0.05 so we can say that there is a significant association between credit rating and the number of credit cards even when the effect of income level is controlled for okay now income with credit card as the p-value this p-value income with credit card is more than 0 0.05 so we can say that there is no significant association between income level and the number of credit cards when the effect of credit card is controlled for Next is parameter estimates. So this is here. Okay. So first we start with three way interaction. Credit rating into income into credit cards. This is the estimate and this is the P value 0 0.065. It is more than 0 0.05. So how we will write? 
the three way interaction between credit rating income and the number of credit cards have a negative estimate suggesting a slight decrease in the log odds when all three factors are considered together however the p value is above the traditional significance level of 0 0.05 this value indicating that this interaction is not statistically significant next is two way interaction credit rating with income credit rating with credit card income with credit cards so three interactions now let's write the interpretation as the p value is 0, 0.00 so i'm talking about this p value that is for credit rating into income is less than 0 0.05 the interaction between credit rating and income shows a strong positive effect with an estimate of 0 0.411 this suggests that the higher income levels are strongly associated with the better credit ratings now the next interaction term which is credit rating with credit card it is negative as a p-value is uh, 0, 0.00 this one which is less than 0 0.05 the interaction between credit rating and the number of credit cards has a significant negative effect with an estimate of 0 0.595 this indicates that an increase in the number of credit card is associated with the lower credit rating next is income with credit card it's negative but the p-value is more than 0 0.05 so as the p-value is 0 0.220, which is more than 0 0.05, the interaction between the income and number of credit cards shows no significant effect. This indicates increase in income is not associated with the increase in number of credit cards. Main effects. The credit rating. Its p-value more than 0 0.05. Income, its p-value less than 0 0.05. Credit card, less than 0 0.05. So we'll start with credit rating. As the p-value of the credit rating is... 0 0.55 which is more than 0 0.05 the main effect of credit rating is not significant income as the p-value of the income is 0 0.00 which is less than 0 0.05 the main effect of income is significant credit card as the p-value of the credit card is 0 0.00 which is less than 0 0.05 the main effect of credit card is significant now the backward elimination statistics this you will get it from here okay now how to uh, write the interpretation of it see it starts with step zero generating class credit rating into income into credit cards deleted effect so as this was not significant this was deleted the second generating class two-way interaction credit rating with income credit rating with credit credit cards income with credit cards the deleted effect uh, one two three again the generating uh, class was considered and finally uh, after running uh, with all these steps, the generating class is left with credit rating into income, credit rating into credit card. So this is a significant interaction effect. Now, how will write the summary? The step summary table in log linear analysis outlines the process of model selection by sequentially deleting the effects to identify the best fitting the model. The table shows how effects are assessed for their contribution to the overall model and whether they can be removed without significantly reducing the model's fit. As shown, credit rating with income and credit rating with credit cards are crucial to the model as the deletion results in a highly, signif highly significant increase in the chi-square value. So we cannot remove it. The final model retains these uh, two interactions which significantly contribute to explaining the relationship between the credit rating, income level and number of credit cards. Conclusion. The significant interactions. The interaction between the credit rating and income is significant indicating that the income level has a considerable impact on credit rating. Especially as income changes the likelihood of having a good or bad credit rating is influenced significantly. The Interaction between credit rating and the number of credit card is also significant. This suggests that the number of credit card a person holds is closely related to their credit rating. An increase in the number of credit cards is associated with the higher likelihood of the bad credit rating. Main effects. Income level and the number of credit cards both have a strong individual effects on credit rating. Lower income levels are associated with the higher probability of bad credit rating. Similarly, holding more credit cards increases the likelihood of bad credit rating.
So this was uh, how you can do log linear analysis in SPSS. For more videos on advanced data analysis using SPSS, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can also refer my playlist in which I uploaded videos on data science, machine learning and artificial intelligence. Please don't forget to like and share my videos. You can also follow me on different social medias, link given in the description box.